Hello everybody and welcome to part 8 of our Python with NLTK for Natural Language Processing tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about lemmatizing. So what is lemmatizing? So lemmatizing is a very similar operation to stemming, only the end result is a real word, okay? So the end result will be generally your root stem is going to be some form of synonym, or it might be the same word, but some form of synonym to the original word. So uh, you might end up with a very different word, but it'll be, very, it'll be a similar word with the same meaning. So for example, let's go ahead and go from nltk.stem import word net lemma tizer. Now we'll say lemma tizer equals word net lemma tizer. And let's just print some examples really quick. So we're going to do print lemmatizer.lemmatize. And first, let's lemmatize cats. It gets lemmatized to cat. Now let's do a few more. <laughs> uh, cats, we'll do cacti. Uh, geese, oops, not geese, geese, rocks, python. Let's try this again. Wait for it. Okay, so cat becomes cat, cacti becomes cactus, geese becomes goose, rocks become rock, and then just a singular python becomes python. Okay. So that's cool. Now what about, what if we did, um, let's lemmatize uh, better. Let's just try this first. See what it comes up with. Better. But what if we said better and then, uh, I think it's POS equals, and then better, uh, this is an adjective. Let's try that. Okay, so it actually comes back with a completely different word, which is good. Um, so then let's say best, and then just to save time, since every time we load this, it um, run uh, run can actually be a noun, like test run, um, and then let's do run uh, verb. So we'll get a few examples here. Okay. So best goes to best, run goes to run, run is a verb, still goes to run. Um, so at least with best, uh, best was a decent example of a word that becomes something totally different. Um, or I'm sorry, not best, better. Better is the one that became a different word. Uh, so by default, uh, some people get confused with lemmatizing because they'll throw run like they'll do something like this so for example uh, better as an adjective came back to good but what if we did what if we got rid of POS as a wait a moment and we get back a return of better okay that's not what we what we expected now that we know that that's not what we're supposed to expect so the default parameter for lemmatize is going to be POS equals noun so if you have something that is not a noun, you have to pass through the part of speech tag. So keep that in mind when you lemmatize things. But anyway, lemmatizing is going to be better, in my opinion, than stemming because it's going to give you an actual word, a word with a meaning, and it will actually group a lot of words together. Uh, and it does a better job, I think, than stemming does. But stemming is still useful, and it's something if you're going to be intent natural language processing, you probably should know what stemming is. So. Uh, no regrets teaching it, but uh, I do think lemmatizing uh, is going to be so much more powerful. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, that's just a real quick example of lemmatizing. You'll find that you'll use lemmas way more often, I think. So if you have any questions or comments, anything confusing, because uh, I know these three lines are just brutal, <laughs> uh, let me know. Post your comments below.